Hey y'all, it's Angel here again, the Chicken Coop, and today I wanted to talk to y'all about saving jars and what I do with some of the jars that I save. You know, that's something your grandmother probably did, and you probably thought she was the crazy jar lady because she saved all her jars. But really and truly, our grandmothers were the best recyclers there are. So now we've kind of come full circle with a new generation that's worrying about recycling things and our grandmothers were the best at it so we need to look back and see what they did with the things that they saved and recycled and one of those things was their jars this is an old mayonnaise jar now a lot of times nowadays i don't even know of a mayonnaise that really makes them in glass jars anymore now do i pressure can in these no, I do not pressure can in these. But if you were going to hot bath like your tomatoes, uh, do like some pickles, things like that, that you could just hot bath or that you're just going to have like a refrigerator, something in there. You're just going to make pickles just for to be used and then they're going to go in the refrigerator. You're not going to store them. They're just to be used up. You can use these jars. These are wonderful jars. The good thing about these jars is... A regular canning lid jar lid will fit on these. There you go. So a regular canning lid will fit on these jars. Now, this is not the brand of mayonnaise that came in this jar, but I'm just showing you that a mayonnaise jar lid will fit a regular canning jar. So here's a regular canning jar. Save these lids. So here's another, here's a canning jar. See, fits on there, perfect. You can buy these lids that are like this for saving your in your jars, like putting them in the refrigerator so you're not having to put this metal ring that would probably end up rusting and stuff or your metal lid on here. You can save that for another purpose and put save these lids and put them on there for when you store them in the refrigerator. Or if you had dry goods or whatever that you're storing in your jars, that you could use these lids to store your dry goods. So you can buy these at Walmart, but why buy them when you have them already from your mayonnaise jars? These, this is a modern plastic mayonnaise jar lid and it will fit your canning jar. So that's another thing that I save. This jar comes from uh, the Classico brand tomato uh, spaghetti sauce jar. It is a Mason and Atlas jar, okay? Now, some people will tell you not to pressure can in these jars, but if you feel the difference between this jar and this jar, you can tell this jar is a better made, thicker walled jar than this one, okay? So, I'm not gonna, I tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I do, okay? I pressure can in these jars. In a regular ball jar, if you take a regular ball jar in this jar and you feel them, you they feel the same, okay? But you can feel the difference. This is not as heavy of a glass jar as this jar is, okay? So, I pressure can in these. I do not pressure can in these, okay? So, some people would tell you not to pressure can in that, and I'm not saying that they're wrong. It's just saying what I do, okay? But even if you don't pressure can in these, save these for your uh, other water bath type things that you do, or just save them for dry to store dry goods in, okay? And of course, like I say, this will fit a regular mason jar, uh, you know, canning jar lid will fit this jar. Okay, so that's another one I say. I don't always buy spaghetti sauce, but when I do, I try to buy it from here with these type jars that I can recycle and reuse, okay? And that's the Classico brand. Now, it is not a jar that you can save for canning. It has, you know, a lid like this on here. Um, but these jars I save and I do put like dry goods. I put a lot of these, I save them for my dried 
herbs and things that I put in here because it's a bigger nice jar and it has a good lid I save the lids wash the lids and I save my dried herbs in these jars right here all right here is another jar this was like a jelly jar from some that I got in one of my jar hauls that I got through a estate sale or something but these were some of the jars they were not canning jars but they were such nice jars i hated to throw them away now my mother-in-law she when she made uh her jelly she made a strawberry jam that was she called a freezer jam she put it in the freezer she didn't pressure can them process them water bath them nothing she just made the jam and put it in the freezer and she called it freezer jam well these jars like this would be something that you could do for freezer jam because your the preservation is the freezing um, so you could use this as a freezer jam. You could use this for um, any kind of herbs or anything that you wanted to say. There's lots of different uses, but this would be a jar that would be a good for saving for something like that. Um, so I saved those jars, and especially the ones that had lids that fit them. All right, secondly, baby food jars they make wonderful little uh gifts i did gifts for them for christmas and i made the spice tea that and i have a video for that so i use these jars for that it made a very nice little one or two serving little hot chocolate or a spice tea or just you know something like that that you're making up it was a really cute little gift for like teachers, your Sunday school teacher, um, your mailman, you know, just somebody that you just want to give them a little something to say, you know, thank you for, you know, all you do for me for throughout the year. Okay, so baby food jars are wonderful. These jars are real easy. The, the labels wash off real easy. They're not hard to get the labels off, but these jars seemed like they were a little harder to get the labels off. And I'll give you a tip and trick on that. If you will take, wash them off as best you can, and then rub vegetable oil on there. And I say, I had some vegetable oil that had kind of gone bad, was, it, you know, past its due date. But I saved the oil to clean my jars with. And so I would rub that vegetable oil, oil on here, and it would get it off so easy so quick so rather than buying like gooby gone or anything like that that yes those work but you're spending money and i had oil that i was going to have to either throw out or do something with so i saved it to take my labels off of my jars that i have found that is the best thing to get your labels your gooey labels off your jars also i've used these as decorative things i put some just twine glue some hot glue some twine around the top drop a little candle light in there and you have a little decorative jar i donated a lot of these to i used them in a, in a wedding and then i donated in my church and we use them a lot on our tables for decorations and things altars windows that kind of thing it makes a really cute thing so uh, don't throw away those baby food jars. If you have a new mama that's using doing baby food, save them and you can do little crafts with them. Here's another jar that I've saved. This was a little uh, candle that I got, Walmart something, Dollar Tree, who knows, it was a dollar. Uh, but it's a really nice glass jar and uh, has, it has a nice lid on it. Well, I saved it. And I have those little pennies that you know you always do for vacation. Have those in there. I also have some up here that's got like safety pins and hooks and all sorts of kind of things. I have like several of these in my craft room and they store those little, you know, little things that you need to have separated. But it makes them easy to get to and that's something I do with these jars. So I don't throw these jars away. Here's another is a candle jar, probably a pretty familiar candle looking jar that people have. Same thing, I've got buttons in it. I save that jar and I use it to store for storage. Another jar that I saved, especially when I was working, I had all the girls at work save them for me. That yogurt jar, uh, it's a really nice jar, okay? 
there's two sizes. I've got this jar and this jar. What I'm going to do with them, and I'll, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to I'm going to make candles and put the candles in them and use these as gifts. I'm going to recycle them for gifts with candles in them. So don't throw these away. Recycle them, and these are great to use for all sorts of crafts. Another little handy tip that I wanted to show y'all is the lid off of a Parmesan cheese shaker. These are wonderful. Save these lids. Guess what? They fit your ball jars. They fit your canning jars. So these, now when you're saving these jars, especially like if you have like a little pint or a half pint and you have some herbs or something that you're saving in there. So these are very handy little, little things. So don't throw the lids of your Parmesan cheese away. They are wonderful. You can do so much with all your spices and your herbs that you're saving and dehydrating. Wonderful thing. I went to the thrift store today and I got a few items at the thrift store. Not a lot, so I'm just going to kind of include it into this video here. I got this. This is Creative Memories, but it's a really nice cutter. But what was really good about it, when I opened up the drawer, it has like a little storage drawer in here. It had a corner cutter. It had, uh, you know, some tape, self-adhesive tape thing. Had a refill of that and had three cutters. These don't even look like they have been used. This was a good find. Everything in here. Just one of these alone would be eight to ten dollars if you bought it from Creative Memories back in the day, and even probably now. And then these I got. I now I've been looking for these. I used to could find these every time I went to the thrift store. I would see a lot of these, but I didn't buy them because I didn't really need any extra. But now that I'm teaching canning classes and stuff like that. And I have a lot of girlfriends are saying they're having hard times finding canning supplies and canning kits and things like that. I have been having my uh, eye out looking for things. Now here's an old one and it's a little bit, it's got a little, it's, you know, it needs to be straightened out, but that's no big deal. I can, I can do that. And I normally would not have paid this much for them, but the canning supplies are just outrageous. And I paid $4 for this one. So normally a dollar, $2 maybe. I've never paid $4 for one, but I did today just because I thought, well, I've been looking for them and I haven't been able to find them. I found another one, paid $4 for this one as well. But the good thing about this one that I thought was so unusual is this one has a little strainer. Look at that. And you can take this out and wash it. Isn't that awesome? And I mean, it is a fine strainer too. It is not, not a little, t I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty fine. So that is awesome. Of course, I haven't washed any of these yet. I just got back from the zoo. Now, it's got a pretty good ding in it. See that little ding? But I think either myself or my husband will be able to... This is just aluminum, and it's real. that's a real soft metal. So, I feel like I'll be able to at least kind of ding that out a little bit. But I paid $4 for this one as well. And I thought that... I, I didn't mind paying the $4 so much for this one because it had this little extra little thing. This one is for me. I'm keeping this one myself. So those are the only things that I got on my thrift store haul today. Sometimes you have a good haul and you get a lot of stuff and sometimes you don't. And today I didn't get very many things, but I got some really good bargains. So always keep your eye out and go to those thrift stores. You would never know what you might be able to pick up. Things that you have been looking for and cannot find anywhere else. So I encourage everyone to save their jars, be thrifty, recycle, and go to thrift stores. You will save so much money. And plus, you just have fun. So thanks for visiting with me. And if you like my channel, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.